Just like a decade ago, Kentucky's new election district maps are heading to court. There has been a lot of attention on gerrymandering, and experts say it is a big deal and that Kentucky's elections are at stake. LEX 18's political reporter Carolina Buchek has the story. A clear example of political gerrymandering. Democrats say the maps made by Republicans are unfair, specifically the Kentucky House map and the Kentucky congressional map. In a lawsuit that the Kentucky Democratic Party is a part of, they claim the maps involve extreme partisan gerrymandering, which violates the state constitution by arbitrarily denying the citizens of the Commonwealth the rights to a free and equal election. But Republican leaders who created the maps say the maps will hold up in court. I'm very, very confident that the map will withstand any challenge. So Democrats argue the maps are gerrymandered. Republicans say they are fair. So those are the stances that both sides are taking. But what about the facts here? Are the maps really that bad? And why does this matter? It skews democracy. UK professor and election law expert Josh Douglas makes it clear at the core of this is democracy. Yes, the maps are really that bad. Um, they're pretty extreme partisan gerrymanders. Um, the politicians here chose their voters instead of the other way around. And why it matters is it because it skews representation. How do you know the maps are unfair? Well, there are mathematical ways to measure that. The efficiency gap is one of them. And it basically looks at, OK, how does this map perform given the data we know about how people vote? Um, and the districts and how would a another map that was drawn more fairly perform or even not just one map but if you ran a simulation of a thousand maps and when it comes to the Kentucky House map Douglas says the efficiency gap is quote off the charts quite simply it's skewed in favor of the Republicans and it matters because when the voters you know prefer a certain candidate or certain party and yet those votes translate into kind of super majorities the other way, uh, it skews democracy. So now it's up to the courts to decide what to do. In Frankfurt, Carolina Butrek, LX18 News.